Hello, everybody, and welcome back to m j Games. I am Michael, and welcome to Adam Island. As you can see, it's a very, very well lit up night park. As in the description, it talks about this park is meant to be looked at at night. And this is called Adam Island. It's created by XX2, the, the underscore legend, 3... XX, and then it says in the basic description, um, says, Welcome, traveler, to Adam Island, an island dedicated to science. And so I'm sure you could tell by all the sci fi um, scenery and buildings. Not only does science lead to progress in the world, it does, in fact, have its dark sides like radiation, um, nuclear weapons, horrific experiments like they did in World War II. But see for yourself on Adam Island. And I actually forgot to take a picture with the full description. So I believe, other than that, just says to look at the park at night. Um, but um, this creator is a follower of the channel. So I really appreciate all the support. And I'm really, really excited to look at this park. Because I love seeing what this creator has made before. And I think this is his first full park. Up to this point, it's just been individual themed rides. But let's get started with the tour. Now, we are here at the guest entrance to Adam Island, as we can kind of see some views from this spot. That's a really cool kind of tower right there. And I like the kind of greenish coloring here. And I love seeing how some people are starting to use different kind of main entrances and kind of use an underground walkways for the guests. But what I like about this is it's fairly decked out. Now, there is terrain above, so... Um, you know, maybe it would have been nice to see using some of the art shapes to kind of create the ceiling. Oh, this is cool. Oh, that's cool. It's like the, the lighting going around. Really cool. This kind of, in a way, gives me, um, oh gosh, from a, the Space Mountain. This gives me like Space Mountain vibes. Oh, now we get the lights going on and off. This is cool. Yeah, I really like this. And then you've got the lights hanging down a little bit. That Really, those don't even give off any light at all. But it's a really, really cool look. And so now I think we will be on the island once we venture up the stairs. Ooh, that's gross. Ooh, goo. I was trying to think of um, <laughs> um, that, uh, gosh, what movie is that? I can't even think of it now, that little sound that I just made um so right away you know you can see the helicopter flying over the top we got this very sci-fi looking building right off the bat and so you know right away this whole park is based around science and right away too just love the detail here that you can see with the beam supports and then you know for some people who are maybe looking at some of these pieces saying what is this those are just the um the molding pieces, I think, and, you know, that you kind of put with a certain building piece, and then I love the lights right there, so let's see, it looks like we've got, um, fusion, so it's gonna be a coaster here to the left, is my guess, nice cube, really fits the theme well, and I like how open it is, but you've got, you've got the ceilings covered properly, and, oh, that's cool, kind of seeing up there to the spaceship, that's a really cool look. So we now have the first coaster. So let's see. It's called it's a Typhoon Bar Heist, and everything's all green, so that's a great job. I feel like it's stats. G Force is really good. Biggest drop 121 feet. Max speed 65 miles per hour. There are four inversions. So let's take a ride on the coaster. And it looks like ride in seat two not in front bumper, so I'll make sure to do that.
Yeah, so that was a really, really cool coaster, really cool layout. I love the first kind of um, uh, roll at the beginning there and how it kind of goes in and out of a couple buildings. Very, very well done with the scenery, and you've got a lot of trees and rocks going around. So this was a great coaster to start out on as it doesn't take up a large footprint either, and it looks like, yeah, so whenever you have it going over path, you've got it kind of protected. Now, maybe not quite there, but here you've got the protective fencing going around, and then here you've got some protective fencing as well. So I think that's really cool, and it looks like this is an area where if for some reason it valid or employees needed to get up to this space, there would be that option. So that's really cool, and utilizing these um, kind of broken window pieces is a really, really cool effect as well. So, oh, is this for... Avenger. No, that's an Oh, Adam Island. Oh, AI. <laughs> I just saw the A at first, and my only thing I can think of is Avengers. Um, but really, really well done. So let's go ahead and hop back into plip cam mode. So if we get into plip cam mode instead of Pearl plip cam. There we go. So this was the exit of the coaster. Okay. I was making sure we didn't miss anything there. Now, which way should we go? Yeah, definitely a good job of the sci-fi theme here with the flooring and everything. Really, really good job. Ooh, security cameras. I need to put those up more. So that's a good job. Well, now it looks like... Okay, so this must be to the Hellion Ring, I think is what that's called. And it looks like we got some custom supporting on here as well, which is really cool, which is just... Um, for anybody who doesn't know, let me click on this for a second. Let's see if it'll let me. There we go. Yeah, so it's just a um, pipe scaffolding piece, which I just hopped out of plip cam mode. But yeah, so if we can see, that's all that it is right here. Is it's just a scaffolding piece, and then you've got the vertical supports and stuff like that. And so it's just utilizing some of those pieces that I feel like people don't really use as much in the game. Um, but really, really use it in a way that that makes it look like you fully customized those whole supports and stuff. So I think that is a really, really good job. Let's see what else. So we got the the Eye of Adam. Oh, that is the... Oh, I'm not thinking right now. That is the name for that Hellion Ring. So I think that's the name for it. Now, let's see. We go this way. Ooh, what's that up there? That looks like a um, some type of weapon. There we go. So this is called Meltdown. So it looks like this is not that large of a park overall, which will be good. So Meltdown. Oh, that's not a coaster. That's this flat ride. I was thinking there was gonna be a coaster up here, but let's see. But, I mean, just another really well done ride skin. Once again, using some of those vertical supports to your advantage and then using the coaster support beams to create this really kind of cool support for the ride. Like, that looks really cool. Um, I'm glad I turned around because I wasn't going to at first. So we got Fusion Bar. So a food place up here, it looks like. Uh, or not. Let's see. Okay, yeah. Oh, so this is... Oh, that's cool. I didn't realize this before, that there was actually a food shop up here. Okay, that's really cool. Cool touch. And then we've got the kind of windows over here. So it's really using the diner-themed items to create this sci-fi look. So that's really, really well done. What's over there? Oh, it looks like there's just a random building on an island. Hence the name Adam Island. Um... I don't know why I just whispered like that. That was really strange. <laughs> um, let's see. Ooh, looks like we got another coaster over here. There's so many massive buildings. Let's see. Exit only. Oh, this looks really cool. How that ceiling piece is done with the lighting. Gives a really kind of cool visual look and effect to it. Really, really like that. 
So we got another flat ride. Oh no, that's going to be a... I think that's a coaster. Yeah, so we got another coaster there. And then we got the mut mutants. Ooh, this is a... Um, very popular ride. I hope it's a coaster for how, how long the queue is. Let's see if we can stop running through people. Nice detailed queue. I mean, it's essentially the same thing over and over, but it gets the job done. Now let's, uh, good gosh, this is a long queue, man. If everybody's waiting this long for a water ride, they're crazy. Or, you know what? A dark ride. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So this is called Mutants. And it says sit in seat two. It's insane that there's this long of a line for a dark ride. Just absolutely insane. But I love the little detail here on the um, the operator's booth. That's one thing I really need to do better in my next park. Whoa. I feel like the hardest part about dark rides is telling a good story with it when we're not really given that many pieces that are um, maybe you'd say like adequate to helping with that and I don't know what is going on right here <clears throat> yeah this is really cool so far you know it's different than some of the like kind of western or pirate themes ones because there's not as many like individual props and stuff but it's really dark and kind of has this eerie move to it obviously as there are uh, mutants being um, mutated I guess you'd say <laughs> um but yeah, it's just really, you know, gives a good kind of vibe with this in terms of it being creepy and being entertaining at the same time. And this kid seems to be loving it. Oh, scorpion. Woo. That got awfully close. She doesn't look scared one bit. Props to you, man. Is this a pretty, pretty long dark ride? Snakes are terrifying, man. Oh, you got the alien. Awesome. All right. So that was mutant. And I'm guessing it's this whole space in here that you've kind of raised up the terrain and put this back wall to the park this uh that kind of glassy wall 
But yeah, that was really, really cool. Really enjoyed that dark ride. And, you know, it was definitely a good length to it. And it had a lot of, you know, there are moments that had a lot of detail and some moments that didn't have as much. But I think the moments that didn't have as much, like the lighting kind of really set a good, um, it set a good kind of precedent for, I don't know, silly precedent. Man, I can't speak right now. Let me, let me repeat that. When there was not a lot of detail, the lighting kind of made it really kind of feel eerie and almost creepy in a way, which is, um, you know, really helped with the ride. So there we go. Now I can actually talk properly. Man, it's only 11 o'clock here right now. Like, you, I'm not even tired, but apparently I can't speak. I'm stumbling over my words. There we go. Andromeda. All right, so I can't really tell from here. This is either... Okay, so this is one of those Maurer spinning coasters. That's what it looks like. I like this protective fencing here. I think that's really cool looking. So this will probably be a little bit of a smaller coaster. These are not necessarily known for being that tall or being that intense in terms of the drops. They can be fairly intense with the spinning. Um, because I was pleasantly surprised on the one of these that I've ridden at Six Flags over Texas. And it definitely got my stomach more than I was expecting. So if we look at the stats for the coaster for Andromeda, which by the way, what a station. Wow, this is a cool station. Is that the whole ride right there? Wow, this is a lot longer than I was expecting. Okay. Um, let's pause that so we can hop on the coaster. And let's see, stats all good. G-force is not bad as well. Maybe lateral's a little bit high. Obviously it doesn't go upside down because that's not what this coaster is built on. And you know, why, why'd I put front bumpers? We need to be able to spin. So I will talk to you guys after the coaster. Well, there we go. There was Andromeda. And I, I don't know about you, but I was not expecting that whole ride to basically be in a building right here. So that is, you know, I, I think it was a good coaster in terms of it's enjoyable to take a ride on it and experience it. In terms of realism, I would have chosen a different coaster model for this because I think it went way too fast throughout the elements from that standpoint. And for this... This coaster type is supposed to spin, so I felt like there was not enough spinning, but when there was spinning, it was a little bit too intense. Like, that little spin right there is fine, but there were a couple moments of um, definitely some some crazy spinning, and so that's just my opinion on it. Um, 
I do think it's a good coaster, but like I said, I think a different model could have been used for it to be a little bit more effective. That's just my opinion, though. But I really enjoyed that. And so let's go ahead and hop back in flip cam mode. Just because we got one more major area in the park, I believe. So bunker food. Ooh. Little food shops down here in the bunker. Uh, we got a ride down here. Okay. I was not expecting that. Oh, it's one of these. So seat. What seat did it say? Let's check it out. Seat 21. So seat 21. Why don't they let you go the other way? That doesn't make any sense. She, she seems a little nervous. So does this guy. He's shaking. It's funny. From the corner view in a second ago, it looked like they were holding hands. It's like, oh, they had them holding hands. But no, that wasn't the case. Alright, there we go. Is I forgot the name of that, but that was one of the drop towers, so that was definitely the best seat to sit at. So now we've got another flat ride with, once again, that custom supporting. Really good job. And, you know, normally I would maybe talk on the fact that you kind of just use the same supporting over and over, but I will say with the with this style of park it it works perfectly and so i thought there was a bridge we're going to walk over but i think that's actually the coaster that goes on that bridge um so only authorized personnel back here so little miniature staff room which looks good so this is called a a radiation okay this can be another long queue Yep. All right. So sitting in guest view. Okay, so not seat view, but guest view. Let's see what's going on. There we go. Nice. It's a single rail basilisk coaster. Wow. Eight in excitement. You don't see that too often. G forces look good. 171 feet, 73 miles per hour, four inversions, seven air times count. Air times seven air time count. This looks amazing. So let's go ahead and ride the coaster and I'll talk to you afterwards about it. Oh, I don't know what happened right there with my camera controlling, but that was radiation. Let's go back into the station for a second because I really like this station. I think it looks nice. Um, maybe a little bit more detail on the edges, but I, I like the ceiling. It's different. One thing you could do is have the vertical moldings um, where this kind of meets down right here, have some vertical pieces as supports. That would be my only suggestion. But to me, I don't think there's any question. That to me is the best, 
the best ride in the park. That's just my opinion. Uh, the first one was really good, but I like this one more. And I think we've seen everything. Let me zoom out and check. I mean, that's cool. Just adding some of these little details here that a lot of people don't pick up on. You got the lights. And we've got this kind of island over here. And then we've got... Yeah, so I don't know necessarily what these are supposed to be. Um, I'd love for somebody to enlighten me. But obviously there's supposed to be some sort of uh, protection. Or is it kind of... I don't know exactly. So I don't want to sound really dumb trying to guess what those are. But this is just such a cool job really well done love the building i think that's just such a cool touch and then i love the fact that it kind of comes over over this bridge like i just think that is a really really cool kind of view um you just once again that's using those scaffolding supports and stuff like that so that's a really cool touch really really cool touch um oh also shortened up the rmc train i didn't realize that because when, when we're riding it uh we didn't get to see that so that's that's really kind of interesting using only one car with three rows so that was adam island and we had you know a little bit of extra stuff over here so you got like a little bunker or something uh but that was i really love this park i think this is really nice it's unique it's different and i hope to see more full parks from you um, not that I don't like the coaster spotlights, because I do, but I just love seeing whole parks as well. So it's it's cool seeing whole parks from you um, and seeing what you're able to create with it. And I, I do think maybe overall I think this one needed a little bit more smoothing compared to the first coaster. Uh, but like I said, this one's my favorite. The layout, the elements, the design. Really, really enjoyed that. And really my only critique, I think, is that this second coaster I just feel like didn't really fit for the kind of layout you had. So that's just my only thing, but absolutely loved it. Love to get your guys' feedback. As always, make sure to hit that like button. And if you ever have a, a park that you want me to spotlight or wanted to, uh, or know of a park that you want me to spotlight or look at, make sure to let me know and I'll check it out. And also make sure to follow the other um, console Planko YouTubers that do such a great job as Iron Maddie. Um, Tommy CM, Planet Flip Cam, and they just do an amazing job with their creations and stuff and spotlighting. So make sure to go check them out as well. And I hope everybody has a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day.